Okay, we're going to talk about divisions of the brain and answer the questions, what are the subdivisions of the cerebrum and what are the diencephalon, brainstem, cerebellum, and corpus callosum, and what do these structures do? Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Morton and I'm the noted anatomist. So the divisions of the brain are as follows, uh, the cerebrum, diencephalon, pituitary, brainstem, and cerebellum, and this video is not meant to be comprehensive, it's supposed to give, it's meant to give an overview uh, of where these structures are located, what they do, so you get a, a basically it's like an orientation to the brain. So we'll begin with the cerebrum, which is Latin for brain, because it's the largest part of the brain. It's located here in the colored yellow outline. And the cerebrum is associated with thought and consciousness and other higher order elements of thinking like perception, communication, understanding, and memory all are associated with the cerebrum. In this anterior view, we see that the cerebrum has two cerebral hemispheres, a left and a right, divided by the longitudinal cerebral fissure. So left hemisphere, right hemisphere, divided by the longitudinal cerebral fissure with the corpus callosum at the bottom. Um, and the cerebrum consists of hills and valleys. Now the hills are called the gyrus, or for singular, or gyri for plural, and the valleys are a sulcus or sulci for plural. And so there is a hill, gyrus. And there's a valley, sulcus, and this increases the surface area for more neurons in the brain. And the cerebrum has the following lobes, all named for the bones of the skull in which they lie deep to. So here is the frontal lobe, deep to the frontal bone, and it has the primary motor cortex um, localized here in the precentral gyrus. And then the parietal lobe, deep to the parietal bone, has the primary sensory cortex focus there in the postcentral gyrus. And so what we see is there's some structure called the central sulcus, a really big valley between, that's shown right there, between the frontal lobe and parietal lobe. And in the frontal lobe, we have this precentral, below the central sulcus, precentral gyrus. That's where the primary motor cortex is. Mm -hmm. And then there's a postcentral after the central sulcus, postcentral gyrus. And that's where the uh, primary sensory cortex is located. I remember those because M comes before S in the alphabet, and that's the precentral before, postcentral sensory after. There is the occipital lobe deep to the occipital bone. That's the primary visual cortex where a lot of the input from your retina ultimately goes to help you know what you're looking at. Then on the lateral surface, deep to the temporal bone, is the temporal lobe. And this is where auditory processing occurs and language processing and memories are formed and stored. Um, and then there is something called the lateral sulcus, which is right here. And it is the big valley between our frontal and parietal lobes and the temporal lobe. And then very the deep floor of the lateral sulcus is the insula lobe not shown in any of my diagrams. Now the diencephalon consists of the thalamus, hypothalamus, and epithalamus. So in the sagittal section of the brain in a medial view, there is the diencephalon with our thalamus, which thalamus um, is like a gateway for a lot of sensory and motor input between the, the uh, inner brain and the cerebral cortex. There's the hypothalamus, which is full of many different nuclei. And then there's the epithalamus, which is a uh, secretes melatonin, regulates circadian rhythms. Now the hypothalamus also has a stalk connecting to the pituitary gland. And the pituitary gland is the master gland. So there's a pituitary gland connected by the infundibulum to the hypothalamus. And the hypothalamus helps to regulate the function of the pituitary gland as well as produce some uh, hormones. And the pituitary gland sits in this part of the sphenoid bone called the cella tersica. So the next part is the brain stem, and the brain stem is the midbrain pons and medulla. So in this area, there is an outline of the brain stem with the medulla pons, midbrain pons, and medulla oblongata. So this is an anterior view of the brain stem and the cerebral cortex removed because there is our midbrain, and the midbrain has the cerebral aqueduct within it, but it also has cranial nerves three and four arising from there. And then we have the pons, which uh, consists of part of the fourth ventricle and also part of the attachment of the cerebellum, in addition to cranial nerves 5, 6, 7, and 8, basically all originate or arise within this pons, and uh, the pons also has a reticular activating system within it and also some of the respiratory and cardiovascular centers. Then there's the medulla or medulla oblongata. It houses cranial nerves 9, 10, 11, and 12, as well as the bottom of the fourth ventricle, as well as reticular activating system, as well as respiratory and cardiovascular centers. So there we have the brainstem, midbrain pons and medulla, and for especially teeing up, 
cranial nerves, three and four, midbrain, five, six, seven, eight, pons, nine, 10, 11, 12, medulla, mid uh, brainstem. So next we're gonna talk about the cerebellum, which is right there outlined in that dotted line. The cerebellum is in the posterior cranial fossa and its name is actually means little brain. It's in the posterior cranial fossa, separated from the cerebrum by the tentorum cerebelli, and it coordinates skeletal muscle contractions. So it's smooth contraction and movements. And here we see in the lateral view, and there's the cerebellum. Okay, there's two cerebellar hemispheres connected by the vermis. Now the corpus callosum is next, and so there it's the largest commissure. A commissure is a collection of axons that course from one side of the central nervous system to the other. The corpus callosum is the largest commissure right there, and there it is outlined, and there's millions of neurons within this corpus callosum, and in this anterior view, we've separated the cerebral hemispheres, and there's the corpus callosum at the floor of the longitudinal cerebral fissure. And that, my friends, is an overview of divisions of the brain in a nutshell. Dun, dun, dun.